Oh, not that bright. Okay. Yeah, I got my cat ears. I got my cat ears. <laughs> I got my cat ears and they light up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where is that? Hey, I'm a, I feel like I should just let them play. <laughs> this is one of the little things I got myself <laughs> out there kissing me because I've been wanting a Bluetooth headset to work out with and take walks and listen and I wanted something that was like insulated and I saw these and it has the ears and I was like we doing that it's bright if it was dark in here <laughs> I'm with it <laughs> good morning don't be rude say it back that's so crazy how I'm saying that because the way I grew up with the adults seeing the kids in the morning and be like, oh, you didn't say good morning. Or my favorite is, because I have a West Indian family, so it sounds like, I went to bed with you last night. I, I was sleep with you last night, right? That's why you're not saying good morning to me right now, because I went to bed with you last night. And you're like, it takes you a while to get it as a child when a grown up is saying that to you, because you're like, I didn't go to bed with you last night. And that's what we say. And they'd be like, exactly. So why you not say good morning? And you're like, because it ain't good yet. It ain't good yet. I just got up. That's how most of us is teenagers. For me, it's, I, it do be a good morning. I wake up like, da, 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 da. it's like, I think I internalized how Cinderella and like Snow White, the, I, was, I grew up on Disney princesses. So when they be waking up, all the animals be there and it be a whole like procession in the morning. That's what I have in my head. It's ingrained in there that so like I wake up and I open my window. So the birds like I notice that like when I'm up, I listen for the birds. I feel the buzz of energy for that day. Like I wake up on some I'm awake. I can't help it. Whenever I'm dating non-morning people, they hate that about me. Like, they hate it. Because I wake up, like, I wake up and I do these videos, y'all. Like, I literally crust in a uh, moaning, but I don't, if I have to tinkle, I'll go do that. But when I wake up and do these good morning videos, I just be up. I had, I had just been open my eyes. Good morning. <laughs> That's how I am. I am in the, I'm a morning person to the extreme. If I get a partner who's on some like, let's wake up and let's go walking. Let's do this. I'm up. It's like a whole Cardi B song. If it's up, then it's stuck, then whatever. I'm up. Ready to do whatever. The only thing I'm usually not ready to do in the morning is eat carbs. Like bread. My favorite breakfast foods is straight up like fruits and grilled meats. Like it doesn't even matter. Well, I prefer beef. I'm a beef person. But like or like i like bacon too i know most of the vegan spiritual community is like why would you eat that because it tastes good and it doesn't affect my spirit the way it affects your spirit we're not going to have that conversation now the point is that i like my grilled meats um, and my and my fruits in the morning if i can't have grilled meats i need to have fruit and by fruit i mean like apples um lemons pineapples um kiwi's good um not so ripe mango i like in the morning with a little bit of salt and pepper cucumber uh cucumber in the morning tomato in the morning what else we have in the morning uh, uh. grapefruit in the morning eh, eh, in the morning in the morning oh oh in the morning it's fruit in the morning eh. okay i've been hanging out my west city my family we were trinidadians so I've been on my own, you know, whatever, chilling at the house. So when we go hang out, all we do is listen to good soca. I stand there, my aunt, and is married to Haitian, so a Haitian folks in the family now. And all we does, all we does do is turn up, you know. We just eat the food and we just make music and we just listen to the music and we just had the pots and the pans and we just just the dance. We just dance and eat mango and thing like that. 
That's what we just do. And we just do it. And now that I'm back home, all I want to do is turn up, turn up, eh, turn up, turn up, eh, turn up. Okay. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Don't be rude. Say it back. Show up for yourself today. You know, that's why I do these videos. If anybody's watching this and it's like, why is she doing this? This is about me and I want to share it with you. This is about me showing up. I am a spiritual practitioner, if you will. And my name is, I was going by Oya Gold for a while, but my name is Stacy. I go by Stacy Gold now. I love the gold. The gold, something about the gold energy. And then that's the name of my company. My company is Gold Energy Management. And we were doing really good right before, um, right before COVID and during COVID to see, you know, we were doing really good as a business, but with me moving and figuring out full-time RV life, also purchasing property, figuring out relationships, things like that, I needed to take a break. I couldn't keep going and giving to others while myself needed me. And at first I thought it would be like six months. Then I thought it was going to be a year. I'm still not back to work yet because I'm clearing out old wounds. I am redressing things that are healing now that are still bandaged. I'm learning more about myself. Like if you go back and you go back, you can see I dealt with what some people will call like a narc attack from my mom. I don't know if I should call it that. And see, and those are the things I, I the things I don't know is what I'm taking the time for myself so I can know for me. I don't know is a valid answer. Um, if you've ever had a session with me, if I don't know something, I'll tell you. I don't know. If I think I know whom I know, I might send you there as a resource, but I don't know. So for me, there's things I don't know that I want to know about me. So I'm working on those things. I'm fixing those things. I'm looking... I still do readings for certain people who come to me. I still work in my capacity. I'm still building... If you've been following me and follow my career as far as a spiritual teacher as far as someone who's into the spirit of things like then you know I have my own like spirit board I'm working on I have things that's going on I have a lot of things going on actually and with all that a lot of things going on I need to make sure I'm good so this is my way back in because to be honest it's like I'm ready to come back to work and within certain capacities but I don't know how, it's like double dutch I'm trying to figure out how do I get back in the flow and I don't want it to be complicated. I don't want it to come with a whole bunch of flyers and marketing. I'm not. That's not where I'm at with it. And I don't think I'm ever going back to that place with it as far as my spirituality and how I teach and how I help others show up for themselves as well as showing up for the people who ask me to show up with them and for them. If I'm in that capacity and I can do it, I will. So I want to make sure everything is good. You know what I'm saying? So that's where my focus has been. That's where my focus is at. Being, being, a, being, a, whole, being a whole vibe to myself before I can try to teach someone or explain something or be a bear witness to something with someone or for someone. It starts here. It starts here. It starts here. It starts here. And I figure... I'm a kind of, again, I'm a morning person. Whatever I get done within the first few hours of me being awake, four to five hours, that's my day. Because after that is, I'm relaxing, I'm creating, I'm not in work mode. Created, creativity is not work for me. It's just like breathing, you know. So when I'm creating work, it's a different vibe and I need my morning hours to do that. So this is my way to get back into the work. The writing, the readings, even though I don't think I'm going to go back to doing traditional readings, I found another medium that I really like because I'm a natural storyteller. I naturally see the whole concept of things. And with me reading symbols and symbology being the bedrock of my spiritual foundation as far as what's the first thing that comes awake for me is symbols, symbols in people, symbols in their language, symbols in words, symbols in colors. This is how my spirit, before it was a voice or a knowing or a card or uh, I like astrology, so I'm studying that and I'm good at it now. For me, it was symbols. My intro into this realm of spirituality as, as a practitioner comes through symbols. So for me, symbols is my... It comes back to symbols for me. It always comes back to symbols. What's being said. 
So I found a way to read some symbols and maybe assist people with the symbols in their life that are creating patterns that are coming back. I'm excited about that. So, so yeah, I do these videos in the morning for myself to tell myself, hey, it's okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. You're good. And I know I have to start somewhere, so I'm starting here. And this is good enough. This is great enough. So... I'm excited to see where this leads, to be honest, but I'm enjoying, I'm a Capricorn son. I kind of like the structures. I like having a purpose to wake up for. I like it. I love it. I love it. I love the challenge of it, of when I like yesterday's video, I was still drunk, I think. I was tired. I don't think I had a voice, but it was fun to still get it done. I think I did it in the car too, because everybody was packing up, moving, and I had to, you know, I'm really liking me. I'm really falling in love. I'm really rising in love with myself. And it feels really good to have people to share that with. It feels really good. And I mean by my family. And, and, and also those of you who tune in. <laughs> All five of you. <laughs> Which is like... You ever hear... It's not, the, it's not the quantity. It's the quality. And right now I have quality relationships in my life. Right now I have quality um, feelings about myself. Right now I have quality in my life that I love, respect, and adore. So, good morning. Don't be rude. Say it back. And if not to anyone else, at least just yourself. Y'all have a good day. Remember to love one another. Love those who love you. Treat those good who treating you good. Show up for the people who showing up for you. Have a great day, y'all. Be a great day. Love you. Later. <laughs>